Ravens fans have been going absolutely crazy over this for the longest. And depending on how the game goes tomorrow, it could possibly get a bit worse. But hopefully not. We'll see. What are we talking about, though? Well, we are going to go over that shortly. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video. It helps out a lot. Now, if you would like the audio version of these videos, click the links down below in the description, and we'll take care of you. Team, keep it clean. I love you so much. I appreciate everything that y'all do for the channel. And without further ado do let's get into what Ravens fans have been just going absolutely crazy over that being the backup QB positions ever since last week when Baltimore Ravens fans watch Josh Johnson when they watch uh, Devin Leary even when they watch Emory Jones a lot of Ravens fans were like oh my goodness what is going on what are we gonna do here at backup QB because they did not like their options Josh Johnson been with the Ravens a couple different times now. He has been with a lot of different teams, been primarily a backup QB. Does have a lot of experience. He's been in the league for a long time. But a lot of Ravens fans just, they weren't feeling his game. And they haven't been feeling his game ever since he joined uh, the team. With Devin Leary, he was a draft pick that a lot of Ravens fans were scratching their heads on. Like, why would we use a draft pick on a backup QB who possibly may not even make the team well, we'll see what happens with that uh, but then when they watch him play a lot of their same sentiments they continue so Ravens fans ever since their first preseason game they have been wondering how can we possibly upgrade the backup QB position they've offered a lot of different solutions they'd offered a lot of different suggestions one of those suggestions has been Ryan Tannehill that's something that I've been saying even before the preseason started when we first went into this offseason I've been saying Ryan Tannehill Ryan Tannehill Ryan Tannehill especially after we signed Derrick Henry I just felt like he would be such a great fit one other option that a lot of Ravens fans have suggested has been Cam Newton and what's funny about Cam Newton uh one of my guys Mac he hit me up and he said I'm just saying the Ravens got Deshaun Jackson off a podcast Cam has his own podcast all he has to do is talk about it in the <laughs> and the Ravens They'll sign him. And that, that's what we said about Deshaun Jackson. Remember, because remember, Deshaun Jackson, he wasn't doing nothing. Ravens wasn't, they wasn't talking to him, nothing like that. Then all of a sudden, Deshaun Jackson, he brought them up on the, uh, I think it was on the Pivot podcast or I Am Athlete. No, it was I Am Athlete podcast. He brought up the Baltimore Ravens, said he would play for that. And then boom, look at that. Like not even a week later. Deshaun Jackson ends up getting signed by the Baltimore Ravens. Coincidence? I don't know. I think they be having their ears to these podcast streets. But Cam Newton has been an option. Ryan Tannehill has been an option. But another option that my guy Chaz Ray came up with, let's hear. He said, Joe Milton III. He said, should the Ravens steal Joe Milton from the Patriots just like how they stole Ben Mason from us a few years ago? All right, real, real quick, before we get into the rest of your question. They did not steal Ben Mason. Ben Mason had agreed to one of them wink-wink deals with the Baltimore Ravens because when they draft all these players, they can't keep everybody. And you got to go from 90 men to 53 men. Then, of course, you got the practice squad, but you got to waive a lot of people. When you waive those people, they are subject to get claimed by other teams. The Baltimore Ravens, they waived Ben Mason, and Ben Mason and them agreed on, all right, Ben Mason, we're going to re-sign you after you clear waivers and everything. Don't go anywhere else. We're going to bring you back. Ben Mason was like, okay, cool, no problem. So then what happened? He ended up signing with the Patriots. He signed with them. He went there. I guess he found an opportunity with the Patriots, and that was that. So I know John Harbaugh, he was really upset about that because I will never forget. And he mentioned Ben Mason's name. He's like, oh, we ain't going to talk about that. We'll talk about it later. I'll, I'll let him answer that for you. But the way that John Harbaugh spoke when he spoke about Ben Mason, you could tell that he did not like Ben Mason's decision at all. But anyway, they did not necessarily steal him from us, but he ended up going there. So um, it says, should the Ravens steal uh, Joe Milton the third from the Patriots I've watched him a few times this preseason and he is impressive to me strong arm he can run he's not afraid of contact if we can't get Cam Newton then this is the guy they should look at blessings to you and your family and your newborn hey appreciate you man and he said back to studying I go I'm out so hopefully when this video drops uh, you will be able to take a quick little study break but with Joe Milton with the Patriots he ain't going nowhere because it, it, we've been seeing him in preseason. That's that's. I feel like he's the quarterback that has gotten talked about the most in preseason. Besides uh, Jaden Daniels from the Washington Commanders. But Joe Milton, they, they've been talking about him a lot. And when you watch him, he, he look like he out there having fun. He be out there having fun. He be taking chances. He be taking small chances too. Uh, he be making some plays as well. But he's a rookie. He's a rookie. Uh, Drake May, he's a rookie. And they also got, um. I think they brought back Jacoby Brissett as well. Uh, and they said the battle right now is between Drake May and Jacoby Brissett. 
I can see them keeping three quarterbacks. One, Drake May, because he's their future. Jacoby Brissett this year because he's a veteran guy that got a lot of experience starting. And then Joe Milton, too, because he's somebody that they could develop and then they could end up trading him in the future uh, and then acquire some draft compensation for him. So I, I just it, while he would be nice, um, I, I just don't see it going down um, because with the Baltimore Ravens, they're not going to want to have, especially it, it, it's especially because of where they are right now, the, the type of team that they are right now. They're a team that's going to be competitive. They're going to be contenders. They are contenders, um, but they're not going to want a rookie to be their primary backup QB. They're going to want it to be a veteran. They're going to be want it to be somebody that has experience uh, in this football league. Now, if they got Joe Miller, he could be somebody for the future, but for the present, no. Nah. And, and either way, Patriots, they wouldn't let him go nowhere regardless. Next question came from my guy, Jarvo. He said, with Justin Simmons officially going to the Atlanta Falcons, yeah, they signed him to a one-year eight million dollar deal he says what are your thoughts on us taking a look at stefan gilmore hmm i don't really think the two got anything to do with each other uh justin simmons a safety stefan gilmore corner um i wouldn't mind but uh like it would be one of those things stay ready so you ain't got to get ready because marlon we got marlon humphrey he's healthy we got brandon stevens he's healthy nate wiggins he's healthy now he just got back um so we got we got our outside corners pretty much set uh arthur Millette. now if we did bring in stefan gilmore they could move some stuff around and you got some different guys that could play slots i'm gonna play outside we got a lot of versatility on the team which is a beautiful thing tj tampa he just recently got back as well Stephon Gilmore would be nice for me. It would be he would be more like one of those Madden signings where you just if you see a free agent, you just sign him to that vet minimum. You get them on your roster so your team could be as strong as possible. Now, we know Baltimore Ravens secondary does definitely get tested for sure. They definitely do. But right now, Stephon Gilmore, would he be overkill at corner? I mean, I feel like you can't really have overkill at corner, especially how the Ravens again, how them injuries be in the secondary with them. But so I wouldn't mind if they got him, but it's just right now it's really not necessary. I think if they were going to focus on something, it should probably be more at receiver. I know they brought in Russell Gage. I know they brought in Anthony Miller, and Anthony Miller apparently been doing his thing. He been he been killing it, so that's that's good to hear. We we love that. Um, but I would focus. I would much rather them focus on trying to upgrade there now in free agency. Can you really upgrade at the wide receiver position? No. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I think if the Ravens really wanted to upgrade there, then it would have to be a, a, a trade. It, it would have to be. For who? No clue. Um, but that would really be the only way because in free agency, you're not really going to be really doing too much of anything. Uh, but anyway, he also asked, with the JJ uh, season-ending injury, the Vikings might look at Ryan Tannehill as a backup. So what other QBs do you think we should talk to? Do you think Joe Flacco would back up Lamar, LOL? Uh, Joe Flacco, he is busy backing up Anthony Richardson. And you know, like, you you, you know the Colts. They ain't letting Joe Flacco go nowhere. And I, I would not. Mm -mm. If Joe Flacco were to back up Lamar, oh, no. No, 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 no. I remember back um when lamar first took over oh my goodness it was so ugly with flacco fans or lamar fans it's like man it just it just started this just war it's like really i think we just rooting for the ravens to win now i know we we like both quarterbacks both of them have done their thing and both of them did their thing for sure but um it just got so ugly and and, and that would not create a good environment for um, the Baltimore Ravens I don't think Obviously yeah Joe Flacco Legend with the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl champion Super Bowl MVP too um, But him being a Him coming back To back up Lamont No it, No it, They mm -mm. The only time Joe Flacco uh, Is going to come back To the Baltimore Ravens uh, Would be to retire uh, Now With Joe Flacco Like we said he I believe he's on the Colts right now Backing up Anthony Richardson now, with that, uh, he he is coming back from injury, Anthony Richardson is. And Colts, after they watched Joe Flacco last year, they said, hold on, this, this boy still got something now. After they watched him with, uh, with the Browns, they said, no, oh, no. Uh, just in case something happened to Anthony Richardson, just in case he ain't all the way back yet, even though he is all the way back, we holding on to Joe. He, he ain't going nowhere. So I see uh, both these questions. They want to get these Joe, these, these quarterbacks named Joe from other teams. 
that they ain't letting them go. Like these, both of these Joe, Joe Milton and Joe Flacco, their teams ain't letting them go nowhere. They got to stay ready so they ain't got to get ready. But yeah, with this backup QB situation with the Ravens, we're going to figure this thing out. We're going to figure this thing out together. And I know John Harbaugh, he was asked a question about it the other day. He was like, oh, he said John Johnson played well. He played well. And I think he might have said the same thing about Devin Leary, too. And, of course, you got to talk your guys up. You got to talk your guys up because you don't want to say, oh, man, they played terrible. What a terrible game. Oh, that was just absolutely disgusting. That was embarrassing. I, I can't believe they went out there and they did. No, you, you can't do that as a head coach because you got to boost these guys up. Like, quarterbacks are very, very sensitive. They hear all that stuff. They watch all that stuff. They see all that stuff. So you got to give your guys motivation. Um, but at the same time, you got to properly analyze, like, all right, the way you got to look at it, the way you got to look at a backup QB situation is if your starter were to go down, we don't expect him to, but if your starter was to miss some time for whatever reason, would the backup QB be able to hold it down? If your answer is yes, hey, you got an amazing backup QB situation. But if your answer is no, then you got to take a look at some things.